do you know what are ai agents and how ai agents can build everything for you so in this video i'm explaining you all of this hi guys welcome to freebirds crew so you have heard about ai but here's the shocking part ai is no longer just a tool it's an agent and not just any agent it's an autonomous agent that can do decision making that can build anything for you sounds insane right well let me show you how this works in real time so let's get started so ai tools are evolving very fast but not just the models are getting smarter but how we use them large language models applications are changing at a lightning speed nowadays but if you think ai is an impressive now wait until you see how these new ai agents are building everything for us so let me tell you what are ai agents so ai agent is a system that can perceive its environment through sensors process information and can act upon the environment through tools and achieve specific goals okay so just think of an a uh, digital program that that can observe think and act much like how humans interact with their surroundings but in a more programmed and a purposeful manner okay similarly if we talk about the concept of ai so the concept of ai builds upon the fundamental idea of reasoning behavior an ai agent should take actions that maximize its chances of success in achieving the objective this reasoning is what makes the ai agent differentiate from the simple automating programs as well and if we talk about the characteristics of ai agents the ai agents can operate without human intervention that can make decisions independently they can react to the environment they can change they can take proactive measures to meet the objectives they can learn and evolve by processing new information and experiences they they can work towards achieving the predefined goals and can communicate and collaborate with the other agents and the humans as well so ai agents are just programmed humans in simple sense so let me tell you about the core component of ai agents that are perception reasoning action knowledge base learning and communication interface so let's break down each component one by one so first thing is perception so perception means to perceive the external environment that enables the ai agent to connect with the physical sensors like cameras or microphones and can get the digital inputs like data streams or the apis responses okay and then we have to reason on them that it means we have to use our brain the brain of the ai agent is large language model and that brain is uh, used to process that information from those sensors and determine the appropriate actions this component implement the agent's decision making algorithms and maintain agent on the correct path and then we have to take the action action means a ai agent can affect this environment or simply take action to complete a task like fetch data from the database search google as well okay and then there is called a knowledge base that is also we called as a vector db that is the repository of the inf information that agent used to make decisions these knowledge bases are completely pre-programmed as well or or we can say uh on the go kind of uh, knowledge bases as well okay and then we have the learning this learning enables the ai agent to improve its performance by learning from the data and the experiences it uses the techniques like reinforcement learning supervised learning unsupervised learning to improve the performance of ai agent over the period of time and then we have the communication interface that allows the agent to interact with the agents systems and the humans as well okay so now now let me tell you how ai agents actually interact with their environment so the interaction cycle is often called as sense plan and then act okay so we have to first sense and then we have to plan then we have to act so let's take an example of a simple self driving car okay so the self driving car will uh, take the action in this three phases the first is called perception phase in which the sensors send the data for the processing and then it update the state that in which state the car is now it is driving it is still or it is about to take a turn and then in the decision phase the current state and the goal the goal is what we want to do now we want to drive in a straight way uh, increase the speed uh, put on the brake and then the current state and the goal are used to evaluate the options and uh, then we can select the best action to perform and then the in the action phase that execute the action and can observe the changes and start the new cycle again so in this three cycle process this whole ai agents can interact with their 
environments and this loop keeps on going okay so let's see the python code example in simple terms to understand it programmatically let's compare these three levels by using an analogy of a thermostat now so if you guys see my screen here that we have this uh, how agents interact with the environment we use the thermostat example here okay we make these three faces here the perceived face is a perceived function uh, the decided face is a decision face and then the act function is called the action face in the perceived face we have the current temperature okay that is the temperature of the room now and then in the decision phase we have to check this current temperature with our set point if it is lower than it on the heater else we have to off the heater as well okay and then we have to act so whichever decision this decided function will pass we have to uh, process we have to act on that as well okay so here i set the set point as 22 and when i run a loop on this current temperature function on to act upon these three parts then i have this if the temperature is 20 then it checks all the things and the heating is on if the if it is 23 then the heating is off okay so in that way you can these ai agents can uh, act according to their environment as well okay guys now let's talk about how ai agents actually function so AI agents can understand human language, reason through the imp information, plan actions, execute tasks without needing the constant human input. Then the question comes, how these AI agents are different from the automation? Because these AI agents have two major capabilities. The first is called tools, second is planning. And human with tools and the large language model with tools work same as the AI agent but in an auto decision making or planned way. Okay, so let's talk about the flow of the AI agent that whenever a user pass a query, how this flow works. Okay, so let's break it down. The first, it goes to the orchestration layer that is also called as the control center. So this is considered as a trigger to the AI agent because it manages the memory that maintain the memory of your whole interaction. It stores the current state of the whole process. It guides the agent with the help of reasoning and understanding as well and then it plan what steps to take and what will be the next step and how to take the step as well okay and after that it goes to the model layer this is the brain of the ai agent the model layer is the centralized decision making layer of the whole agent that can understand the query formulate the plan determine the next action and model use the reasoning and the logic frameworks here like react chain of thoughts or tree of thoughts as well react means you first reason and then act chain of thought means we just reason through the intermediate steps then we have the tree of thoughts that explore multiple paths and choose the best solutions out of them and then it goes to the tools layer because using tools ai agent can interact with the external world okay tools enables to perform actions beyond the model capabilities they can access the real-time interactions they can also complete the real world task as well okay so in that way whenever a user asks any query it flows through this whole loop and generate the output and will explain this whole cycle in the upcoming videos in more detail with examples as well okay for now just remember the core components and flow of the query as well okay similarly if, if i talk about this diagram here all of these components work together in a certain framework and that framework is called agentic design patterns okay and we'll discuss about agentic design patterns in my next video and uh, if i talk about the difference between the ai agents and agentic ai now that is the like most asked question nowadays okay so ai agents are actually a small kind kind of uh, uh, program that do a one task autonomously as well but it does not have any kind of uh, behavior they they have a certain set of rules as well okay they don't have any kind of a design pattern you can build a simple ai agent with simple python code as well and they are like uh, chatbots or your routine task assistance kind of uh, programs as well but if we talk about the agentic ai agentic ai is a self directed behavior or a decision making entity that can work same like a human as well they have higher degree of autonomy they don't have any kind of predefined rules they can take decisions based on their environment based on the perception and based on the 
situations that they are in and they can easily adapt to that as well okay they integrate advanced level of reasoning as well and they can follow the top five design patterns which we'll cover in the next video okay and they can uh, do the complex pro uh, problem solving the self-driving cars or the medical healthcare as well or uh, the travel itinerary planning like flights hotels or the whole planning kind of thing as well they can do with the help of agentic ai okay now now if we talk about the applications of ai applications of uh, ai agents or the agentic ai are immense they can use in multiple domains with multiple forms from healthcare to retail to finance ai agents are everywhere now we can use multiple large language model multiple tools apis and codes as well as in ai agents can automate any task that i'll surely show you in my upcoming videos as well in our next video we'll talk about the agentic ai design patterns that helps us to build better ai agents that can work autonomously without human requirement can complete the task as well in our next video we'll talk about the top five agentic ai design patterns with python and the autogen ai agent framework by microsoft okay so if you want to learn about generative ai rag llms or data science and machine learning you can watch my videos on youtube and also read my blogs on medium we'll meet in our next video thank you guys thank you so much